This is actually the lead ship of Flight 19. Wow, the exact same plane as this is Flight 19. Yes. The final words of the men on Flight 19 have been studied and poured over. Every sentence and word analyzed in depth by the Navy's after action report. And then, of course, reanalyzed by armchair historians and hacky, cursed TV shows. Walk me through what happened to Flight 19. What, what's the deal? It was a training flight for navigation training, believe it or not. <laughs> so we just got back from the Sapona, which we, we dove on. That was their mm -hmm. target. So we know they dropped their bombs on the Sapona. Correct. What was their path after that? Due east. Due east. For another 60, 70 miles. OK. Then make a turn to the north, northwest. What happened? It's a big mystery to this day. Right. Nobody knows exactly what happened to them. Nobody knows, but there are theories. Colleen Sterling is the LeBron James of aviation probability analysis. You maybe didn't know there was a LeBron James of that. After two years of searching for Air France Flight 447, Colleen was brought in as part of a small team to reanalyze the data. They found the wreckage in less than five days. The first thing we did is looked at the 500-page Navy report that came out, the communications, all the radar hits that they had, and we wrote a chronology. The key transmissions, everything is map-based, right? right? So I'll put, like, where they launched from and the time, and then I'll draw the line where they were supposed to go, and then I can calculate with the wind and their heading how long it should have taken them to get to their first turn point. Mm -hmm. I thought about that first turn point, and then I said, well, where could they have gone from there? They were trying to go back to the northwest, okay. but the wind was blowing them, and they may have not made the turn sharp enough and might have got significantly blown to a different heading. Powers, what is your compass reading, Powers? I don't know where we are. We must have gotten lost after that last turn. MT-28, this is FT-74. What is your trouble? Uh, both my compasses are out, and I'm trying to find Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So this is the compass here. That's the magnetic That's compass. the magnetic compass. So he would be looking at this. What else would he He would look at, at that and then hit down on his instrument panel. You have what's called the gyro compass here, that you set this with this knob to agree with this. To agree with this. This bounces so around. Sure. That one is very stable. Taylor, who was the flight lead, was talking about the compass didn't look right. He started to get confused. Don't they know they have to get back? Taylor thought that they needed to fly to the northeast because he thought they were over the Florida Keys. How did he think he It's was... very hard to imagine him getting that lost. He doesn't seem to have his wits about him on this flight. And you hear them arguing on the radio. It's really sad. Right. We have just passed over a small island, and we have no other land in sight. Turn on your emergency ISF gear. Or do you have it on? ISF gear was off. I'm turning it on now. What's the ISF gear? IFF, that's an acronym for identification, friend, or foe. OK. Right here, for example, see this says 1200. In an IFF, they would have given him a code to squawk. To put, to put in friend. there, and it would be picked up on their radar. He didn't have it on. He didn't have it on. Should he have had it on? Especially if I want help in finding right. out where I am. Right. FT-28 to Nanhao Abel-3. One of the planes in the flight thinks if we went 270 degrees, we could hit land. 270, that's due west. That's somebody with a decent compass or somebody else is like, hey, we just go 270, we're going to hit land. Just to get to their bombing target, they flew due east. Right. Well, just fly due fly west, west and then take gonna, it back yeah, where it came from. Right. We'll hit land some point. Yeah. FT-28, all planes in flight, change course to 090 for one minute. So now they're going back east again. Back east Power. again. Damn it, if we just fly west, you would get home. Hold it. Head west. Damn it. Powers, who is the ranking guy on right. the flight, he kept saying we need to go west. Right. And then it gets corroborated with a radar track that came from the Solomon's aircraft carrier. And where did that see them? The radar track showed aircraft going south. Huh. Over land there's a good chance that it could be somewhere in this mid-peninsula east coast of Florida region. So that wouldn't surprise you at all? No, uh, the, the model supports that. Wow. We are now flying 270 degrees. We will fly 270 degrees until we hit the beach or run out of gas. And now they know they're in trouble because it's like, time. they're, they're going to run out of gas. Yeah. And they just don't have a clue where they are. When the first plane drops below 10 gallons, we all go down together. Everyone understand that? 